everyone. Have you ever learned how to sit with discomfort or do you numb your pain? If this topic resonates with you at all, I want you to watch this video. So this is how I used to live my life is numbing my pain. And so I want to talk about that today. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. We're so happy you're here. And I hope you get some blessings through these videos. Um, as a mom, going through what you're going through right now is really, um, it's beyond words and it's not something you can plan for, right? So this channel exists though really because I walked a hard road with my own daughter for about 10 years. And to be honest with you, while her life was spiraling out of control, mine did the same. And it doesn't have to be that way. And so that's what I get to do now is I get to help moms not make those same mistakes and walk a little smoother road and be able to get their own life back. Okay, so let's dive into this. So there are two paths, right? There's two paths you can take when you have discomfort. And when I say discomfort, it could be physical pain, but today we're gonna talk about emotional pain, mostly. Um, but really the journey is the same, regardless of the pain. But if you are uncomfortable and you start to feel something, right? Let's take the pain of numbing. So this is your first option. You can feel the pain, you feel something, it's uncomfortable, right? It's uncomfortable, so I'm going to resist that pain by numbing, so I can make the pain go away, momentarily. So how many of you numb your pain with food, with alcohol, with shopping, with gambling, all the things? Um, there's so many different things that a lot of people numb with. But I think food and alcohol are the biggest, at least that I've seen. Those were my two coping mechanisms for, for many, many years. Um, I'm not proud of that, but it is what it is. And when I learned how to overcome that, uh, my whole life changed. And so that is your option, right? You can numb that pain because you don't want to feel it. But I want to mention something to you. When you're numbing pain, regardless of the type, when you're numbing pain, you are numbing everything. You don't get to choose that you're gonna numb the bad, the bad feelings or the good feelings. When you're numbing, you're numbing it all. There is no choice in the matter, right? And so that's something I want you to keep in mind because that's something that it took me a long time to figure out and it seems like pretty common sense, but at the time it wasn't for me. And um, so, so that is, that's option one, okay? Option two, is what you can do is when you start to feel something and it starts getting uncomfortable, right? You're starting to not, you're, you're feeling the pain, the emotional pain of, of whatever's going through your mind or what's going on in your life. And instead of numbing it, you notice your resistance. Like, you know what? No, I can do this. I'm strong. I am worthy and I can get through this. And slowly, as you start to feel, you're going to feel uncomfortable sensations. You're going to feel the, the physical pain. You're going to feel the heartbreak. You're going to feel the tears. You're going to feel the stomach ache, whatever that is for you. Headaches, huge. A lot of people get headaches. Your body is going to start to relax as you allow it to process a little bit. And I don't mean sit in it for days. I mean, just acknowledge that, yep, that's there. It's information. That pain, physical, emotional, is information, right? So as your body starts to relax, you can witness whatever sensations you're feeling, and then the feeling is going to pass. Now, is it going to pass instantly? Of course not, right? You may have to do that whole cycle a few times before you can let that go. But in the meantime, what are you doing? You are stopping. You are breathing and you are moving, right? Stop, breathe, and move. We're gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna acknowledge, yeah, this sucks and this hurts, but I'm not going to numb it because I promise you, when I numbed all my pain with alcohol, it took me, I don't, I can't say five times as long, 10 times as long, I don't know the answer to that, but it took me so much longer to heal from everything because I didn't feel the feelings. I'm gonna give you an, ex an outside example here. So I've lost both of my parents. When my mom passed away, I was still drinking. And so I, while yes, it hurt and it sucked and I hated it, 
losing my mom. But while I was grieving, I was drinking. So I didn't feel the uncomfortableness as much as I would have had I not been trying to numb the pain, okay? When my dad died three years after that, I had been sober for, I think a year or maybe two. And I didn't numb my pain. I didn't numb my way through that grief. And it sucked. It was hard, but you know what? I truly believe that I had to grieve my dad and I also had to grieve my mom because I had never grieved her. I was numbing every day with alcohol. So I never really got to the root, the, the pain and the feelings. And there's times where I feel like I still have uncomfortable feelings about some of that, but I don't numb it anymore. I process it. I process it through. I accept that, yep, it's there. It's information and the feeling passes and I move on about my day. So I know this is a difficult task to do, but you can do it. You can do it. So I hope that helps you. So I hope that you choose the path of least resistance and I hope you choose the path of not numbing. Um, for those of you that we've never chatted before, I would love to talk to you moms, um, you know, about your situation, what's going on with your adult child, and more importantly, how it's affecting you and that's how I can help. And so if you wanna click on the link below, there's a discovery call. Um, would love to chat with you about this and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Thanks.